Professor Forp here, and guess what we are going to be talking about? The decimal point. As I said before, I never repeat myself, so pay attention. What do we have here? Yes, right there. This is a decimal point. What's the point, you might ask? Well, the numbers to the right of the decimal point are smaller than one. Even though you may be tempted to ignore those little guys, remember, it's the little things in life that count. So let's count those little things called decimal numbers. Everything to the right of the decimal point is a mirror image of the numbers to the left of the decimal point, starting at the tens place. Here's the tenths place, the hundredths place, thousandths place, ten thousandths place, one hundred thousandths place, millionths place, ten millionths place, one hundred millionths place, billionths place. Notice the difference in the numbers on the right and those on the left of the decimal point. The numbers to the right of the decimal point end with a th. These decimal numbers are the same as fractions. Eight tenths can also be written like this. Eight hundredths can look like this. Eight thousandths looks like this. Here you have eight ten thousandths, eight one hundred thousandths, eight millionths, eight ten millionths, eight one hundred millionths, eight billionths, and so on. How do you read a number that has a decimal point? Well, numbers that are bigger than one, to the left of the decimal point, are called whole numbers. 243 is a whole number. Read the number to the left of the decimal point, 243, and then say AND when you see the decimal point. Next, look at the numeral at the far right and figure out its place value. In this number, the two is in the thousandths place so you would say 862 thousandths. So here you have 243 and 862 thousandths. There you have it, the decimal point. Without them, numbers would be pointless. Now you know how to read big numbers and small numbers. Remember, a number is a number no matter how small. Until next time, be sure to learn new information daily.